meeting by Igno Regional Center Kochi. The induction meeting is the first meeting after getting admitted with the distance teaching institution, in this case Igno, to say of what you have to do uh, while studying with Igno. As you all know, and you have got accustomed by reading the prospectus, distance learning or distance teaching is more like a small monkey clinging to the mother monkey and it is not like the small uh, kitten taken care by the mother cat because it, no spoon feeding is done there is minimum and maximum period of study and autonomy is given whether you want to well distance learner has to finish within the minimum prescribed period or take it to the maximum prescribed period for a study so studying is the responsibility of the individual but we are sure friends that for each step some rules and regulations some assistance from the igno will be given and the student support services will be subtained to start with the share of how to study with igno <laughs> read the objectives and uh, features of IGNU, which uh, is already given in the student prospectus. The features of IGNU and the objectives are to promote educational well-being of the community. It offers a wide range of academic programs at affordable cost. There is flexibility in terms of place, pace and duration of study. So irrespective of your place of residence or place of work, you can face your uh, study and finish within the minimum prescribed period or the maximum prescribed period. The achievements of IGNU are the recognition as Center for Excellence in Distance Education by the Commonwealth of Learning in the year 1993. Award of Excellence for Distance Education Material by Commonwealth of Learning in the year 1999. UNESCO has declared IGNU as the largest institution of higher learning in the world in 2010. And IGNU as the largest network of learning support system. And IGNU has been accredited with K++ by NAC in the year 2021. How to study with IGNU? Please know the deadlines. Each program or each activity within the uh, program of study, which has been framed in the curricula, has uh, the, a deadline as a prerequisite and also has uh, the rules which govern the same. So when you talk about the rules, it definitely goes by a deadline because it is session specific. For example, now we are, you have got admitted into the January 2024 uh, admission cycle. So it is your January session. And there are prerequisites. For example, submission of exam uh, for, uh, form is a prerequisite for appearing in the examination. And submission of assignment response is a prerequisite for submission of exam form. And there is independent learning. Autonomy is interested to you as an adult learner of how you are to proceed in the learning process right from the enrollment up to successful completion and it is self-paced because as an adult learner you will be busy with the social commitments the personal commitments and also the official commitments and which you have to balance uh, amidst your learning process so it is self-paced also and Please, there will be self-check exercises in the study material and the structure is unique in that each study material has a block and each block has units and units is equal to a chapter. So when you open a unit, you will the contents of that uh, unit is also written in between 
there is a break for the learner or the reader uh, to stop and check, uh, self-check the uh, what you have studied. So when you are reading the study material, do the self-check exercises while studying the study material. Attend online theory counseling. The, the earlier recorded videos are also available in the website of Vignu Main and also Regional Center YouTube channel. And please be benefited. Do the assignment question after studying. Many a time as an adult learner, your experience will speak ahead of the theory knowledge which has, to, which has been documented in the study material. The study material theory knowledge and your experience, when it goes hand in hand, it will be the, your answers for the assignment question will be more, uh, uh, what is it, prominent of excellence. So please do the assignment question after study, not randomly uh, searching the website, Google by putting uh, Google search or uh, taking help of uh, the old question papers uh, which has been solved and posted in various blogs. And we benefited of the old question paper available in the new website because these questions are also useful along with the assignment question which is uh, given uh, for as a prerequisite for you to write the assignment response. Coupled with the self-check exercises, it will help you to prepare for the term and examination ahead, which is compulsory for everyone. Having listened to of how to study with the you know, now we will listen to uh, the significance of enrollment number, the difference between pressure admission and pre-registration, the minimum and maximum period of study made up by Madam Sujini Prabhu. Over to Sujini. Uh, good morning, all. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, today, I'm going to share some basic details on uh, significance of enrollment number allotted to you by the university, uh, the program you have enrolled, difference between fresh admission and re-registration, know your study center, maximum period to complete the program. That means validity of your registration. So first, I'll be talking on uh, uh, know the program. Dear friends, are you aware of what all you have to know while studying with IGNO related to the program of study? You should know the program code, program title, the course code, and the course title. For example, if you have enrolled for Masters in Psychology, MAPC is your program code, and the program title is Master of Arts in Psychology. Uh, and you must be, uh, some of you must have taken admission for Masters in History program. So the program code will be MAH and the program title is Masters in History. Similarly, we have course codes and course title. So for example, MAPC, there will be course uh, codes you can see MPC1, MPC2, MPC3, like that. Uh, for other program also. Here, MPC1, MPC2, MPC3, that is the pro, um, course code. And course title is for MPC1, it is Cognitive uh, Psychology, Learning and Memory. MPC2, Lifespan Psychology. So uh, these are the course code, course title, and course titles. OK. So now we will move on to the next topic, enrollment number allotted to you by the university. What is the enrollment number? Where you can find your enrollment number? The answer is once you submit your online application form for admission and your admission is confirmed by the university, you will be allotted with a unique number. That is the enrollment number. The enrollment number um, is a 10 digit unique number. It was earlier, it was nine digit and uh, from January 2020, you will be having your enroll. Uh, you will be having 10 digits in your enrollment number. The university identify the student by the enrollment number. Therefore, it is mandatory to mention your enrollment number 
while you communicate with the university regarding your program or uh, examination, anything, you have to mention your enrollment number. Whenever you submit an application uh, to the university, you mention your name and enrollment number, program code. So enrollment number is mentioned in your university identity card, which can be downloaded from IGNO website. Uh, so next topic is, uh, let us check difference between fresh admission and re-registration. When you come to the regional center or study center, you will be asked of uh, whether you are a fresh student or a uh, RR student. Hence first, you should know the difference between fresh admission and re-registration. When you register with IGNO for the first time, either for first semester or first year, for any program is on offer, you call, is called uh, fresh admission. Whereas re-registration is when you register for the second semester or second year after uh, an year or a semester. It is not mandatory that you have to complete all components of your first year or first semester for re-registering your second year or second semester. University has made it convenient to the student to take a fresh admission and also take re-registration through online from the IGNO website www.igno.ac.in. So ne uh, next let's check uh, the study center. Most of the students get confused with the regional center and the study center. The university has established a study center at various esteemed colleges or higher educational institutions. Each study center has its unique center code. For example, Sacred Heart College Tevra is one of our study centers of IGNO. The study center code of uh, Sacred Heart College is 1402. Similarly, each study center has its own IGNO study center code. You should know your study center code study center name and an address for availing academic support and also for submission of your assignment. One important thing you have to keep in mind that regional center is not your study center. So uh, next topic is maximum period to complete the program. It indicates the validity of your registration. Each program offered by the university has its minimum and maximum period of study to facilitate flexible way. It is very important that the learner is well aware of the valid period of their registration. There were instances like the student submitting the project report or uh, assignment after expiry of the validity of uh, registration and the result of the same has been withheld by the university. So, to know your uh, registration validity, you have to visit IGNO University uh, website www.igno.ac.in and a uh, student has the choice to complete the program either uh, within the minimum period or maximum period of validity. So dear friends, uh, hope you all have got an idea about your program, enrollment number, study center and valid validity of your registration. So that brings me to the end of my session. Uh, thank you all. Next, I request Mr. Sebastian de Cruz, uh, EDP of Regional Center Coaching, to deliver a brief about IGNO RC Coaching, Infrastructure and Facilities at LSE. Over to Sebastian, sir. Dear students, good morning and welcome to IGNO family. I am Sebastian de Cruz, Executive Data Processor. IGNO is a national open university established by an act of parliament in 1985. For easy delivery of support services for IGNO students, IGNO have 57 regional centers all over India. And there are study centers under each RCS. And we have 25 international approved overseas study centers for foreign students. Our regional center, Cochin, established on 17th November 1988 with all the districts of Kerala and Lakshadweep. Because of increase in enrollment number in Kerala, IGNO opened one more regional center at Trivandrum in 2009 with districts of Kollam, Patanandetta, Thirundurum, and some parts of 
Tamil Nadu. Again, because of more involvement for Igno program, Igno again opened one more prayer center at Vadakara in 2011 with districts Malapram, Kolkot, Kannur, Vayanad, and Kasaragod. Now, RC Cochin caters to six districts of Kerala Ernagulam, Thushur, Palakkad, Kotayam, Idiki, Alapura, and Union Territory of Lakshadweep. Our infrastructure. Even though RC Cochin established in 1988, RC Cochin got permanent four road building which was inaugurated in the year 2010. And this building houses the region center, the Ganwani FM radio station, computer lab, <coughs> classroom, <coughs> conference room, guest rooms, recreation center, and library. We got second building behind our main block, the second six road building was inaugurated in the year of 2016. And this building houses the Regional Evaluation Center, the Study Center SC14000, and the Study Material Warehouse. Our Regional Center Cochin is in a prominent and conveniently accessible location. It is very near to Kalur Metro Station and Kalur private bus stand. From these points, it is only walkable distance, five minutes walkable distance. Students can easily accessible from Ernagulam North Railway Station, Ernagulam Junction Railway Station, and KSRTC bus terminals. Yeah, you can know, our own websites. Our main website is www.igno.ac.in. And each RC has their own website. Our region center coaching website is http full colon double slash rc coaching dot igno dot ac dot in. From our main website, yeah. students download our prospectus. <laughs> Uh, students can download Igno ID card, study materials, assignment question papers, program gate, old question papers, exam date sheet, checking validity of discussion, etc. from this our main website. Students can do admission discussion, which is already done by you. Re-registration, that is next year or next semester session. Exam form, sub, exam form submission. Revaluation form submission. And convocation registration. You can check your exam results, diamond examination results, assignment marks, study center change status, understanding status, study material, despite status, etc. from this main website. Our, from our region center website, students can download induction guidelines. Uh, induction guidelines is a very important document. You can find answers to most of uh, your queries and doubts in these guidelines. This link is available on home page of RC website. And students can also download brochures, newsletters, counseling schedule, etc. Students can submit soft copy of assignments at this website. But it is uh, advisable to submit hard copies of assignments at your study center by post or in person and collect acknowledgement from the study center. From Regional Center website, you will get general information on study center study center details, programs activated at each study center, 
as all programs are not accurate to all the study centers. You will get an idea whom to contact for what. Facebook live section schedule, counseling schedules, and schedules of practical exam, internship, project, viva OC, etc. We have our own Facebook page, https full colon double slash www.facebook.com slash igno recenter coaching slash. Our YouTube channel is https full colon double slash www.youtube.com slash c slash igno recenter coaching. Our Twitter account is https full colon double slash twitter.com slash igno underscore rc underscore coaching. Now comes learner support service, uh, learner support centers. Study centers are arranging academic counseling for your programs. Till February 2020, RC is arranged face to face model of counseling only. Now, currently, depending upon student strength, study centers are arranging online or virtual mode and also face 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 to face counseling also. All the online recorded sections are available in the Igno Research Center YouTube channel. Some programs like MAPC, BAPC, BSC, MC, FSQM, etc. have practical components also. Study centers will arrange practical counseling sections for their lab courses. Students should not. 70% attendance is compulsory for practical section. Therefore, students should be always in touch with the L your learning study center. Students should submit their tutor mark assignments at the respective at your respective study centers. Study centers will evaluate your assignments and transmit the awards to real center by online and RC will forward to Evaluation Division New Delhi for updating in grade card. Please collect the evaluated assignments response from Learner Support Center so that you can use the tutor comments for preparation of the examination. You will get guidance from study centers on project, internship, field, work and workshop. <coughs> Every year we are conducting timed examinations in June and December. Eligible candidates can register for their timed examination and timed exam centers are only at identified centers only but practical exams will be at the study center. You can select any exam center under any RC which is available all over India. Now my section is over for um, giving information about study matches. I am welcoming uh, Mr. Anil Kumar, aka to explain all about this. Thank you. Hello. Good morning, my dear students. Igno study materials. Igno received the award of excellence for distance education material by Commonwealth of Learning 1999. Soft copy e study material for those who have opted e material a discount of 15 percentage of program fee was provided at the time of admission. Hard copy booklet 4. IGNO program has one or more than one course. Course made of blocks and units. When you study, go through the unit structure, do the self check exercise, summary and unit end questions, so that you can do well in your time and examination. 
procedure to download study material for e -Gangush. At the search repository window, top left corner, type course code or course name or relevant keyword for the content. You are searching for a press enter key. Click on course code, oblique course name to view oblique download under community hits. Procedure to download study material forms e Gangosh. Materials from eGanGos. Click on respective blocks. Click on respective link under list of items. Click on view public open button to the view public download the study material. The other option is to browse through the community list by clicking India in the home page. Procedure to download study material from Igno e content Android app. Install Igno e content app from Google Play Store. Igno study materials. The status of study materials is available in Igno website. HTTP public igno.ac.in public igno dot about igno public division public mpdd material igno study materials next session Sir, came early there. Yes, so fee refund for special clean day. Thank you. Thank you, Anil. Good morning to all students. Uh, I'll give some ideas about the scholarships available in IGNO. There are four types of scholarship available in IGNO. First one, direct benefit scheme. Second one, Kerala State Government Scholarship given by Government of Kerala. Next, third one, Minority Scholarship Scheme. Fourth one, Scholarship for Differently Abled. The first, uh, first one, Direct Benefit Scheme. This scheme is, uh, the student has to take, uh, while taking admission, they have to select the program. Some selected programs only, this uh, scheme is direct benefit scheme is available. This scheme is given by IGNO. Students have to submit category certificate at the time of admission. Then only this scheme will be benefited to students. Second one is Kerala government scholarship. This scholarship form can be downloaded from IGNO Region Center Cochin website or hard copy can be collected from Social Welfare Department or it is available at Region Center also. The students have to be paid the fee at the time of admission. The students have to submit the application filled in application form along with the copy of identity card caste certificate to regional center regional center will fill up the details and will submit to uh, district development office for reimbursement this uh, reimbursement will take minimum six to eight months to get the scholarship the payment will be paid to students by NEFT after receiving the amount to Region Center. Next scheme is Minority Scholarship Scheme. 
This is available in National Scholarship Portal. The website address is www.nsp.gov.in. The student have to go through this website. All details are available in that website. Next one is scholarship for differently able. This is available in National Handicap Finance and Development Corporation. The website address is www.nhfdc.nic.in. All the details are available in this website. These are the scholarship details available in, in IGNO. And the next session is handled by Dr. Prasida Unnagishnan, AD Assistant Director. Thank you all. Thank you, sir. Uh, very warm welcome to all IGNO students. Uh, so you would have got a brief idea about the uh, do's and don'ts of being an IGNO student. So this session is about the multiple entry and multiple exit scheme, which is available for the bachelor level students of IGNO. In line with the National Education Policy 2020 and the National Higher Education Qualification Framework, the UG programs offered by the university follow a modular approach and a multiple entry and multiple exits are allowed uh, to facilitate the professional journey of the learners. So what is this multiple entry and multiple exit facility which is available for the students? Let's see about it. Uh, in fact, this facility is available for students of IGNO from the July 2022 admission cycle onwards. And this facility is available for the Bachelor of Arts General Program, the BCom G Program, the BSc G Program, and the BCA programs of IGNO. So as per this multiple entry and multiple exit option, after the completion of the first year, that is the two semesters of study at the UG level, an undergraduate certificate would be awarded. So similarly, after completion of two years, that is four semesters of study at the UG level, you will be awarded an undergraduate diploma. Next, after completion of three years of study, you will be awarded a general bachelor's degree, uh, which will be awarded to you. So uh, a student of a bachelor's degree program, uh, of the bachelor's degree general program, whether it is BSc, BCom or BA, uh, BA uh, for such students, this facility is very much useful in case they want to leave the program after completion of their first year or second year or the third year. So that was all about the multiple entry and multiple exit scheme of IGNO. Next, the uh, next of the session would be handled by my colleague Dr. S. Vijay Raghavan, who would be talking more about, uh, talking about counseling session online by individual LSC, Nodal, and RC, face to face, and CTCS. And he will also be dealing on project internship, fieldwork journals, and practical record. Over to you, Dr. S. Vijay Raghavan. Are there? Yeah. Good afternoon to all of you. I'm Dr. S. Vijay Raghavan, uh, AID from IGNO Regional Center, Cochin. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about counseling session online individual LSE, nodal RC, and face-to-face uh, face mode, and CBCS, and also the project, internship, field work, journals, practical records, internal assessment and IGNO, examination and convocation related matter I am going to talk. Next slide. You see this academic counseling session we are conducting more than 200 learners admitted in the program we are conducting 60 percentage of the classes face to face mode and 40 percentage of the uh, classes uh, uh, by the online mode so less than 200 learner admitted in case any program that counseling only conducted by the online mode only next 
ఆన్లైన్ కౌన్సిలింగ్ కోర్స్ వైజ్ బై ఇండివిజువల్ అండ్ గ్లబ్డ్ ఎల్ఎస్సి వీఆర్ కండక్టింగ్ ప్లాట్ఫామ్ ఫర్ ఆన్లైన్ కౌన్సిలింగ్ గూగుల్ మీట్ వీఆర్ యూసింగ్ ద గూగుల్ మీట్ ఫర్ కండక్టింగ్ ద ఆన్లైన్ కౌన్సిలింగ్ కౌన్సిలింగ్ షెడ్యూల్ ఇంటిమేటెడ్ బై ది ఎస్ఎంఎస్ ఈమై అండ్ ఆల్సో ద ఎల్ఎస్సి నోటీస్ బోర్డ్ ఆన్లైన్ కౌన్సిలింగ్ లెర్నర్ ఎడ్యుకేట్ డ్యూరింగ్ ఆన్లైన్ కౌన్సిలింగ్ సబ్మిట్ యువర్ అటెండెన్స్ డ్యూరింగ్ ద సెషన్ దిస్ ఈస్ వెరీ ఇంపార్టెంట్ వెనెవర్ యు ఆర్ అటెండింగ్ ద కౌన్సిలింగ్ సెషన్ you make ensure that you attend the counseling that utterance to be marked and session is recorded and uploaded in the regional center coach in youtube youtube channel and the student uh, later they can able to watch the uh, academic counselings next uh, now we can see that uh, channel based counseling session in malayalam language so this uh, uh, cbcs we are conducting igno as a national coordinator for uh, swayam prabha dth channels broadcast is educational programs through the four channels channel number 17 uh, 18 19 and 20 so these are all the channel we are broadcasting that uh, the cb uh, cs in malayalam language as the part of the implementation of the recommendation of nep 2020 live online academic counseling session is regional languages are held Uh, for the courses of program under CBCS, uh, Chai-Spaced Credit Systems. So various topic we are conducting uh, in this channel that is broadcasting. Uh, I told you, I both said the TDH channel numbers. Next. The live channel uh, based on the counseling session is held in Malayalam, uh, total 13 regional languages. including the malayalam the malayalam we are conducting at cochin region the regional center cochin is the uh, nodal office for the three regional center trivandrum uh, batagara and cochin monday to friday 350 uh, pm to 450 pm uh, it is uh, live broadcast is going on next we can see the project internship field work journals and practical records so this is a very uh, important uh, Uh, component uh, for the study so we can see that what are the uh, procedure we are following uh, in this the programs which have the project uh, internship field work journals uh, practical record component can be referred to the project internship uh, the guide available at the egan course link uh, https egan course.ac.in the learner should know where to submit and reach, uh, submit the project synopsis uh, internship uh, that details uh, navide it is a decentralized most of the program for the synopsis is to be submitted at the regional center and also the project final project also uh, to be submitted at the regional center uh, it can be submitted through online mode also so both way we are uh, giving the option next internal assessment of igno so internal assessment is a heart of the system uh, in the distant education mode so the internal assessment we are doing by using the assignments and the external assessment we are uh, conducting the term and examination you know that june term and examination and december uh, term and examination we are conducting that is external assessment the internal assessment uh, we are assessing by the assignment the assignment marks 30 percentage of the weightage so where to be submit the assignment that information you needed to know uh, because assignment is an important component the assignment need to be submitted uh, through the online mode we are giving the uh, link uh, in the rc coaching website and the soft copy of the assignment can be uploaded in the uh, uh, link which is given by the rc coaching Uh, and also hard copy also you can be able to submit it at the LSE but either one mode you can submit either one uh, online or offline mode you can submit for one assignment per course so that's the thing next yeah the assignment response submission you see the assignment uh, before writing the term and examination each course code you need to submit one assignment through online mode 
so the, if you have submitted the assignment through online mode it will come to regional center and we are separating the uh, course wise and program wise and we are forwarding for evaluation to the study center after evaluation this award mark to be entered through the online mode uh, the assignment response submission by post by hand drop box at the lsc by online link which is provided by the rc coaching website in all case you have to first write the assignment response uh, by uh, your handwriting the assignment must be written by the, the candidate by own the handwriting and uh, it is it can be scanned and it will be forwarded through the online mode the question paper for the assignments uh, session wise it has been uploaded in the igno website the candidate can able to download the assignment question paper uh, uh, session wise and then the current session uh, question paper only taken for writing the assignment so that is available www.igno.ac.in so this is a assignment response question you can download from the uh, igno website so i am telling you here the current session assignment question paper only used for the each and every session for other the, uh, each session for writing the assignments uh, here the program wise the assignment uh, question paper uh, has been uploaded you can uh, uh, download uh, from this website next uh, here assignment response uh, soft copy submission so soft copy already i told uh, uh, handwritten assignment uh, can be scanned and it will be uploaded the link for the submission assignment response through the online is available and regional center coaching website http rccoaching.igno.ac.in so there you can uh, find out the link so guideline for assignment response uh, uh, soft copy submission only scanned copy of handwritten assignment to be submitted maximum file size 100 mp uh, document uh, to be in a pdf format and email submission is not allowed uh, the candidate uh, requested not to send the assignment through the email and submit only uh, for the registered courses so suppose uh, the first year you registered for four courses before writing the ten month examination you need to submit the assignment four course assignment uh, through the online mode next uh, one assignment response at a time once from one email id enrollment number and other student details uh, to be very clearly mentioned in the first page your uh, your enrollment number and the course code and program code and all the things very clearly you need to uh, uh, enter in the front page of the assignments response by scanning ensure that the document is readable so here sometimes the candidate uh, 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 they are not clearly uh, scan the assignment so for evaluating it will be very difficult uh, for the academic counselor so the scanning the assignment it should be very clear and visible and then it should be uploaded uh, other other internal assessment mechanism so here we see that uh, the internal assessment already i told uh, assignment then other component are practical field work uh, workshop internship mini project project with or without viva pass these are the uh, things are internal assessment uh, the candidate can able to see the program guide uh, for the uh, more details the term and examination here uh, i already told you the term and examination is a external uh, evaluation assessment so here 70 percentage of more we are giving the term and examination and 30 percentage for the assignments so that uh, 70 percent uh, percentage of mark uh, for the tenement examination we are conducting uh, uh, tenement examination at two times one is june tenement examination and december tenement examination so here in cochin region more than 14 examination centers has been activated for the student convenience uh, so we have the ernakulam uh, trishur palakkad and even Lakshadweep also we have the examination centers. The tenement examination online application, it must be submitted through the online mode only. Uh, assignment submission is the prerequisite. I already told you before uh, submitting the uh, tenement examination form through the online mode, you must ensure that you had already submitted assignment uh, uh, through the online link 
uh, for your course which has been registered. The exam fees, uh, theory, rupees 200 per course and practical and project up to 4 credit uh, courses 300 per course. Above 4 credit, uh, rupees 500 per course. So this will be done through the debit card, uh, through the online mode. The hall ticket can, can be downloaded from the IGNO websites. The hall ticket one week uh, uh, before starting the tournament examination, it has been uploaded by the uh, headquarters. The candidate can able to download the assignments. The tournament examination, all the LSC are not examination centers. So examination center, selective uh, examination center, we activated more than 14 examination center for this examination, June tournament examination also. We, uh, we already uh, been activated. Uh, for the student uh, convenience and also the examination can able to write the candidate anywhere in India even the Cochin region uh, candidate those are admitted in the Cochin regional center they can be able to write the examination under the Trivandrum region also or under the Vatakara region also or Chennai or anywhere in India you can be able to write it so examination is uh, uh, the center selection by the candidate anywhere in India so it is not compulsory the Cochin region candidate can able to write only in Cochin uh, region only. That is not compulsory. Anywhere in India you can able to write the examination. At the time of the filling the online exam form, you can choose any exam center inside India. That is I already told you. The contact international division at the IGNO headquarters for appearing examination uh, from outside India. In case of that uh, abroad candidate, they can uh, contact the international division at the IGNO headquarters, New Delhi. Next. Convocation is an important ceremony uh, uh, that uh, during the convocation you are getting the degree after success, uh, successful completion of your program. So the convocation is conducted once in a year. Uh, apply for the convocation through online mode. So that is available in www.igno.ac.in. Uh, the uh, candidate, successfully completed candidate can able to receive the uh, degree certificate in presencia and in absentia. In presencia, the option which has been given in the online application, uh, suppose you are filling the convocation form, you can be able to get the degree certificate from the IGNO regional center during the convocation uh, ceremony. That is in presencia. In absentia, uh, suppose you marked in, in absentia, uh, you don't want to receive the certificate from the convocation ceremony, it will be available at IGNO regional center Cochin. Uh, you can collect it to your degree by requested fees paying. I think you already paid through online mode, not necessary for the fee. And you can submit your identity card copy and all the things and you can get it from the IGNO Regional Center Kochi. So absence a candidate, they can collect the degree certificate from the Regional Center. And also we are sending by speed post. If the candidate willing to receive the certificate by the uh, their uh, admitted address, while admission time, what address they mention, that address we will send by post. And I want to tell you, uh, this uh, provisional certificate on March 8, it will become automatically to your address by post from the IGNO headquarters, New Delhi. So provisional and March 8, it will not come to regional center. Only degree certificate only will come to regional center. So that is the thing. Uh, the 37 convocation conducted by IGNO uh, regional center earlier, last February month. And uh, uh, the uh, rupees 600 per certificate. If the candidate, those are not received the degree certificate during the 37th convocation, they can be able to collect from the regional center. And uh, 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 this is a thing. Uh, thank you very much. If you have any query, you can be able to uh, ask at the end of the session. Thank you. Now I request to our uh, regional director, Dr. J. S. Torani, uh, to deliver the life skill uh, for a distance learner. Thank you.
and also the multiple entry and exit facility for selected bachelor degree program the uh, counseling session uh, and uh, the pro the internal external component prevailing at the igno more of uh, uh, the being an autonomous learner you need to have a life skill which uh, which is unique for a distance learner so world health organization has defined life skill as the ability for adaptive and positive behavior that enable individuals to deal effectively with the demands and challenges of everyday life friends at igno we are aware as adult learner you are coupling studies with your personal social and official commitments so the life skill at a distance learner you need to be adaptive and also have a positive behavior the demand and challenge of everyday learning or uh, getting uh, certification after fulfilling the eligibility criteria and the process of the learning uh, as a distance learner so what are the life skill for a distance learner honesty take one day at a time persistence expression of interest steadfastness peer interaction honesty to the peers and honesty to the authorities honesty to your own self and being in a genuine in relationship which gets nurtured as a distance learner between you and the authorities the peers or the somebody who is going to be in the track of the learning process many a time when we meet the authorities because of our social commitments and also our professional standing we always link our profession to the authorities rather than relating you as a human being as an individual to the authorities so i will request you first you are a student then you are what all add on the social and the personal decides the official standing you have in the society and you have to be genuine in your relationship so how you are going to admit your fault yes not always uh, everybody is at the winning side or in the losing side either but how when suppose you are an, uh, you are not filled in the exam form and uh, I, you are coming to write your exams and now we have to admit your fault you cannot say i did get the hall ticket or blame game something that no communication was received nobody is going to come after us that must be no as a autonomous learner and no suppression or oppression because there is heterogeneity of population and age group in the as a distance learner uh, many a time we tend to uh, get the help from somebody and later put the pressure on them to suppress or oppress them so please don't do that when you are studying with igno and you be honest in having openness of what you have but within the framework of professional ethics and code of conduct as a learner ability to take one day at a time have a time management many a time when you see the distance far, uh, far uh from today it will look very thin for example amidst your social personal and official commitments uh, and your personal challenges uh, when you think whether you are able to write your exam sometimes you will just say let me not fill in the form now no friends please do not worry about tomorrow and take one day at a time and one step at a time but remember one task not done at a day is equal to procrastination and lead to non completion or accumulation of pending task so fulfill the prerequisite which is framed that is where you need to have spiritual intelligence also to know of uh, there is some uh, somebody else above you uh, uh, existing as god to help you out and little drops makes a mighty ocean so in a day what you can do for a learning process say even if you read two three pages 
uh, at the end of a week it will make you would have completed one unit so little drops of your action towards the successful complete completion of a part of the activity which is assigned the learning process will go a long way in a completion successful completion of the entire program which you have enrolled and all problems have a solution be bold to take the process targeting at a solution do at least something related to your study in a day persistence do not give up many a time it is over when we give up so do not give up and life is like a so cycling more so learning process so even if you start a little late even after the minimum prescribed period your little effort may help you to finish the program of study and be optimistic do not see the past and uh, judge you how that you, you are, your your future suppose especially when your past is bad so be optimistic we view your hurdles as stepping stones so stepping stones uh, are each step you are near to the learning process and successful completion of the program you have enrolled expression of interest express yourself be genuine do not threaten or link with your job profile so when you are going to express be genuine what you need is yes, not always all facilities are there but there are lacunas but all lacunas can be filled in any one gap by another person and help desk is available Uh, and be polite even when you are complete also and that even when you are right and what you express verbally should be able to given in writing please do not slander or express your words people say once you express your words it's like two uh, toothpaste coming out of the uh, tooth uh, tube toothpaste tube so it should not be like that you cannot put it back up so also once you verbally assault somebody you are psychologically attacking them and it is not a professional way of code of conduct so you express what you are expressing verbally should be able to be given in writing and in igno we follow the inclusive and integrated classroom meaning anyone with a special need can be a part of the learning uh, activity with everyone together and uh, so it is unless if you a special need person wants to be helped separately expressing the special need in writing and nature call is a natural uh, thing which you have to know more so you should know where the toilet is when you are coming to the health, regional center and the learner support center for the first time even though there are um, markings and also display boards to guide you the best person to ask is anyone in the uniform in the learner support center or the study uh, the regional center especially the security guards i would say who can guide you where the toilet is and personal hygiene products are not sold in all places so if you know it so say for example you have some special need and you have to use either a diaper or a pad or any other personal hygiene products please bring it along and uh, get benefited and request to exercise the element of discretion to accept beyond the last date is vested on the uh, coordinator so when you are requesting them please be polite enough expressing your need special need or the medical need you have for example when you are writing examination you want to eat something in between all that you should express before uh, in writing and uh, get benefited and also when there is a physiological need and you know when you are answering your nature call you will be soiled and you so you please bring a spare dress in the such a case so that you are uh, held uh, of uh, what you have to do when there is an emergency uh, in such a case and steadfastness 
determination to uh, finish the program of study which you have enrolled it helps you to move ahead near the goal of completion and dedication to uh, uh, this learning process also helps and it demands sacrifice other leisure time activity for example you suppose you have the habit of taking uh, sh uh, youtube shorts uh, and maybe you have to sacrifice that time to study because studying is something which you cannot do it coupling with the, uh, some other activity for example think uh, you can cook and you can listen to the tv you can uh, cook and you can listen to what the conversation is happening in the dining room you can uh, check your uh, youtube shorts and then uh, at the same time you can uh, keep talking to uh, somebody else but it is not so with the learning process so you have to uh, have a dedicated time and determination to commit one at least some part of your uh, uh, learning so that you can lead to the successful completion commitment to do the best is also uh, uh, needed because uh, sometimes we spend uh, time just turning page, surfing the pages turning one study material after the other at the end of the day we will not have studied so please have a commitment and a deadline to finish something so that you are determined to focus on the spin off benefits definitely education ha helps you to gain a degree which nobody can uh, help you or lend or you cannot borrow somebody's degree and use it suppose you need money you can always borrow and somebody can lend you whereas suppose you are in need of a degree certificate nobody can lend to you or you cannot borrow from them that's why it is said that whoever is ha having an education qualification can survive wherever they are placed and grow wherever they are planted so focus on the spin off benefit and other things to finish the program of study peer interaction is necessary in distance learning because you are away from the host institution you are away from each other who are studying the same program and you are also away from the uh, uh, um, academic experts who wrote the study material but friends we want to uh, give a life skill education please do not join peers who are demanding or threatening and do not join peer who oppress or suppress other even for fun fun is uh, not to hurt others fun is something else honoring i at the same time honoring somebody and do not join peer who initiate unrest sometimes at, in the court in the study center we will be corrected for example when you are submitting your assignment reports you will be expected to write uh, your name address phone number before putting it in the drop box but if you are not fulfilling it or randomly writing it uh, without which is not legible you will be corrected to do this or join those peers who are initiating unrest and be conscious of whom you are associating even at the, the distance teaching institution we do not have the confidential profile of the distance learner so you are listening to the life skill of a, a, a distance learner and i just want to uh, share a small uh, story which catches me every time when it comes to peer learning uh, we have heard about the story of the tortoise and the uh, rabbit hare uh, which uh, they had the running race and uh, the, the uh, rabbit uh, won first later the uh, the uh, tortoise told no we should have it in the water not in the land then this uh, tortoise won and then again they told okay we will couple both the water and land that there is come we will have the hare was very confident and it slept up in between and the hare uh, the tortoise won and later they told why we are competing we are same in the same forest living together 
you are good in uh, swimming and i am uh, good in uh, moving in the ground so whenever there is ground i will carry you when there is water i will sit on you so the tortoise when there was water the the, uh, the rabbit was sitting on the tortoise and when there uh, when it was a land clear land that uh, the uh, rabbit was carrying the tortoise so collaboration cooperation helps but how long it is there is a life for collaboration and cooperation but your attitude will determine your altitude in which you have to fly, uh, fly. so this uh, story leads to another story which says a man having a donkey that is also an uh, uh, example of collaboration but he finds that the donkey is very old and could not do uh, that much work as it used to do in, in its young younger days so he decided to put inside a uh, pit when he threw inside the pit the donkey thought oh my master has become so old and by accidentally he has put me so the attitude of the donkey helped him to be a, a, an optimistic person every time the boss was throwing mud on the donkey it just jumped and um, uh, climbed on the mud to throw at one point it reached a point that he said, i said yeah, i know you have done it without your knowledge you have put it in my uh, by mistake you have uh, made me to fall into the pit but you are so kind enough to uh, make me come out by throwing me by contributed my part so friends when there is collaboration and there is expiry of your caliber the right point to change is being optimistic and also have a vision of how to move ahead in an education sector because if if somebody wants money we can lend or borrow but somebody wants a qualification you have to earn for it you have to study for it that's why in the degree convocation degree they say the degree which is worthy and you have earned for the, for this degree like that it is conferred so be optimistic when you are in trouble and know when you have to speak and when you should not speak the donkey was very uh, uh, had the wisdom not to speak when the mud was thrown but it spoke when it reached eye to eye so how you are taking life in your area uh, how you are able to grow amidst the challenges do you have a supportive boss or somebody who is always a hurdle uh, one day you will remember either of them as the person who helped you to study had somebody was not blocking you definitely you you would have taken your study process for granted now that somebody is telling you have to apply for leave you have to tell me well in advance that is um, going to be an opportunity for you to face the program of study uh, with ego and also friends remember it is over only when you give up research says that uh, the dear uh, that is um, the pawn when it falls into the net people manipulated up to what extent it will come out so when it is only uh, uh, less than a nail uh, distance between the net and the leg it gave up so do not give up when you are when you are planning to give up you just tell yourself i want to give one more try so with all this life skill education we wish you all the best and when things get tough please have intelligent confidence meaning that the spiritual intelligence which is going to help you which will overcome all the intelligence confidence the contradictions in your daily life because there is already always somebody watching above you to help you and to make the things into good ones if you really progress in the right way and with all this Uh, we uh, we are going to listen to dr prasita unikrishna of what you have heard so far let us sum up the checklist for a learner over to dr prasita unikrishna excuse me ma'am ma'am we will have discussion after madam presentation
एक्सक्यूज मी मॅम
as I, uh, as all students, uh, you must have definitely downloaded your ID card till now. So anyone who is left out, not who has not downloaded your ID card, please do so. ID card is a very, very important document which you would be requiring till the time you complete your program. Whether it is writing your examinations, whether it is uh, submitting your project, whether it is appearing for the project via MOSE, whether it is uh, uh, coming for the convocation or even having contact with your study center or regional center, the ID card is a very, very important document. So please download it today itself. In, after hearing this induction meeting, uh, in case you have not downloaded it, please download it today from where you can download. You must have got your enrollment number you, using your username and password of the admission uh, portal, you can download your ID card. Now, the hard copy of the study materials are being sent by to Headquarter Delhi and this would include your program guide and self-learning material. Every program of IGNO has a program guide. So, dear learners, please download your program guide from the e Kosh link of the IGNO website www.igno.ac.in because the program guide would give you an idea about the nitty-gritty of the program you are going to study. So please, after listening to this induction meeting, download the program guide of your program from e Kosh. Next, if your, uh, if your program has a project component or a fieldwork component, like for the MSW students, there must be a fieldwork component. And for other programs also, there may be project component of your program of study. Please download the project guide Hello, ma'am. Hello, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, I'm not able to download the program guide. Can you please explain how to download one more time? Yeah. Uh, the, program guide, uh, the program guide can be downloaded from the e Kosh link. e Kosh link is available on the ICNO website. The main ICNO website, uh, website is www.igno.ac.in. Once you open this website, the e Kosh link is available on the home page itself. It is very clearly visible to everyone. So please click on the e Kosh link which is available on the IGNO website. And once you open the e Kosh link, uh, in the search option, uh, on the top right hand corner, there is a search option uh, wherein you can mention the uh, program code and you can uh, write program guide and you can download it or the second option is you can go uh, go to the respective schools under which the, your program is coming and you can uh, search for the program guide in that as well. You should also remember your study center, which is your study center. As I uh, told you in uh, beginning itself that you should check your registration details from the ICNO website under student zone click on admissions and please uh, uh, check your registration details in that your study center name will be given and the code will be given and even your uh, please check whether your email address your contact number address and everything is correct in case there is any change in any of these please write to us at rcquestion at the rate itno.ac.in now uh, the students who have got admitted to the January 2024 admission cycle, uh, you have defaid your fees for only the first semester or for the first year of your program. Like supposing if you are a master's level uh, program learner, maybe you are a pro uh, you are a learner of MA Psychology program, uh, you have taken admission to the first year of MA Psychology. So now you have paid fees only for the first year of your program. So for the second year, uh, you need to pay fees again, which will be maybe in the next year. That is the now you taken in the January admission cycle. So by next January 2025, you need to again pay fees for the uh, second year of your program, and that process is called as re-registration. And the re-registration link is a separate link which is available on the ICNO website. It is separate from the admission link. So, uh, students, please don't confuse uh, between the admission link and the re-registration link. That is, both are separate links which are available. And because many times we have students who 
mistakenly register all over take a new admission instead of doing re registration so don't do that mistake please uh, the registration is a separate link of, apart from the admission link uh, one more thing i would just like to add here for students is your enrollment number is the base number which you, you should use for all your communication no need to mention your control number or any other number because the control number is the number which uh, you get when you register or by uh, getting admission from igno while applying to igno once you get the enrollment number always put your 10 digit enrollment number everywhere and you should never put your control number because we do have students who mistakenly still write the control number and their assignment marks may not come so all these issues do happen so please take care of those for the change of electives like if you have taken some electives for the ba bcom or bsc program change of electives is not at all possible uh, for ba bcom and bsc programs of igno so now i have spoken about how to uh, download your igno id card how to download your program guide how to download a, uh, how to download your study materials from uh, e gyan kosh next is you should also be able to download your assignment questions online from the igno website that is www.igno.ac.in uh, you should go then in the home page itself there is something called downloads and in under downloads if you click uh, on assignment you can download the latest assignment questions so for the students of uh, bachelor's level program and master's level program which are not semester based but which are year ba uh, yearly based program for them you you should be able to download your assignment questions maybe by end of uh, september end or by october 2024 and you should be able to download the assignment questions and write your assignments and submit at your respective study centers so assignments have to be submitted at your study center only in your own handwriting and uh, it can be submitted either through hard copy or soft copy as per the link which is available on the regional center coaching website whenever you submit an assignment it is always advisable to keep a copy or soft copy of the submitted assignment maybe in uh, a, a xerox copy of your assignment so that in case of any uh, problem in not getting your marks at that time you can submit it again so i have talked about uh, the id card the igno study materials the program guide the igno assignments now next comes the term and examination as it was already mentioned term and examinations of igno are held twice a year once in june and once in december so you have to apply for this term and examinations uh, the forms uh, online itself in igno everything you have to apply online so the examination form link which also be available on online on the igno website www.igno.ac.in now supposing if you are a student of any psychology or uh, undergraduate program or other uh, msw program for such students uh, uh, those are yearly examinations the online examination link will be available on the igno website maybe in the month of uh, september or october 2024 so at that point of time you can apply if you want to write your examinations in december there are uh, two things which you have to do first you have to submit your assignments at your study center next you have to apply for your term and examinations uh, online only maybe in the month of october or september so these two months are very important as far as students of january 2024 admission cycle is concerned and you should download only the latest uh, assignment question so you have your ma'am there is any field work for ba sociology student i will take your queries later kindly do not interrupt me now because i will lose my flow when you interrupt me i will take your queries okay So uh, the whole thing is because can be downloaded. Now, time students have to study uh, whether the old question papers uh, where are they available. The old question papers of all ECMO programs are available uh, 
on the ITNO website and can be downloaded under student zone. That is www.itno.ac.in. Under downloads, if you go, you can do uh, download the whole question paper. So now, supposing if you solve five years question paper, you will be in a position to understand the time type of questions uh, which are being asked uh, in the examinations, and this will help you to prepare better and complete your program in a better manner. The provisional certificate and grade card. Once you your grade card gets completed, you can also check your grade card under student zone, which is again available on the ECNO website. The provisional certificate and grade card will be sent directly by the Student Evaluation Division, ECNO headquarters, Delhi. So once your grade card gets completed, it usually takes around two to three months for the SED to send your grade card to your uh, registered address. Now, I know in spite of listening to all this, you may have many queries and doubts, but uh, I would just like to inform you all that we have already sent you the induction guidelines through email. How many of you have read it? Uh, it would be nice if after the induction meeting, whatever I have shared or whatever other resource persons have shared in this uh, induction meeting is already available on the induction guidelines which was sent to you through email. So I request all students uh, to kindly check your email and download the 12 page induction guidelines which was sent to you. Take a printout of it. I am sure you can take a printout of the induction guidelines. Whatever we have, because in that detailed uh, way we have given how you can download each and every thing. Like somebody asked me in between the session how I can download the program guide or how I can download the study materials from this website. In a detailed way, we have already mentioned all these things in the induction guidelines. So my humble request to all students who are present here is, please download the induction guidelines, which is available on the uh, Regional Center Coaching website, that is httprccoaching.itno.ac.in, and please go through it nicely, because I'm sure once you go through it nicely, your every doubts in this regard will get cleared. So how you can download your ECNO ID card? This is also one question. You can download the ECNO ID card from the admission portal using the username and password. And once the, once the downloaded ECNO ID card is in a PDF format. Now, when you try to download it, uh, it will ask for a password. Your enrollment number is the password to open the file. So that you should always remember. You should type your enrollment number and your ID card can be easily open. So uh, to download this ID card, to please note down this link, https igno.samak.edu.in and the learners who have taken admission from January 2020 can download their student ID card from the student portal of EDU. So I request all students to kindly register yourself using your username and password through the link https igno.samak.edu.in and please download your ID card and maybe laminate it and keep it safely. So this was all uh, which I had to share uh, uh, with respect to the checklist. I am sure uh, the students would have got a basic idea about the do's and don'ts of being an igno student. And uh, I'm grateful to all of you for listening to us uh, patiently.